Yeah, Ben, uh, just first of all, just your, your impressions of the game. Uh, what stood out to you? What did you like? Uh, what didn't you like? Uh, you know, I, I liked the fact that we stayed with it. And even, you know, we, we coughed up a lead or two, and uh, I think we worked hard until the end. I thought the guys uh, bounced back at different points of the game, which is good to, to show a little bit of resilience. And then uh, conversely, I didn't like the, the the number of odd man rushes we gave up just with the lack of kind of recognition, play recognition, and, and when the D should pinch and, and when they shouldn't. So uh, just some things to clean up there off the rush. But uh, you know, they were a fast team. They played last night. We didn't. And uh, just kind of ran out of steam there. We had some good looks at the end on the six on four and then six on five and just uh, just didn't happen. Talk a little about uh, Tutayev. Uh, had a good tournament, as I recall, last year. And then you didn't get much of a look at him uh, before he got injured there uh, early in the season. Just uh, where is he at right now? And, and, and what do you like about his game? And, and just what, what does he need to do here going into another season in GR? Uh, well, you know, Toots has had an unfortunate, I mean, last year he, he came in, uh, had a really good training camp, uh, good start to our season. He put up some decent numbers the first few games for us. And then, uh, suffered an injury that took him out for the rest of the year. And he, to his credit, he worked extremely hard in Grand Rapids, probably for, I mean, <laughs> we skated him nonstop for, for three and a half, four months there. And uh, I think it's important for him to, to make the most of whatever opportunities afforded to him, you know, whether that's, you know, whatever role that is in Grand Rapids, what, however that plays out, but make the most of the opportunity once it is given to him, then don't look back. You know, he's got to grab a job and, and grab a spot and, and continue to work, which he does. And that's one of his best characteristics. He's very endearing because he, he does not want to leave the rink. He stays at the rink. He works extremely hard. And uh, he, he's a fun kid to be around. Thanks, Ben. Sure. Max Bowman. Hey, Ben. Um, was Sabrengo hurt or what went into the decision to take him out today? Uh, no, Donnie, Donnie's completely fine. Uh, we've got some defense and like we've got eight defensemen here, or seven now, because uh, another one was injured or didn't pass their physical. Um, but it just we, we have some free agent invites that we want to get a better look at. Uh, we're pretty confident we know where Donovan is at with his development. And he's, you know, he's been in Grand Rapids for two years. This will be his third year uh, in, in the organization. So we don't need to see him a ton and, you know, Games are more important uh, in the regular season training camp than, than these rookie games. So, you know, that's an organizational management decision that you know, we want to give some other guys some other looks. And then what have you thought of Lombardi so far through a couple of games and a couple of practices? Yeah, you know, Amadeus, is, he's, got a, uh, he's got a good little motor to him. He, he scoots around the ice pretty well, sometimes uh, a little bit too well, and he takes himself out of plays, and we've talked to him a little bit about that. But, uh no, he skates pretty well and he gets around the ice very well. He's, he's pretty confident and composed with the puck and he makes some nice plays in some tight areas. So uh, he's done a lot of good things so far in the first two games. And then I think you touched on a little bit yesterday, but um, I think the last time you saw Soderblom would have been a couple of years ago. What are the biggest differences or growths, I guess, you see in his game from, from that time? Yeah, well, he's one of the guys that really stands out. And when I saw him, like you said, it has been a couple of years uh, he looked like he was still growing into his body and I'm, I'm sure he still is, but he's moving his feet extremely well. Uh, he's kind of put it together a little bit here. So he's heavy on the puck. He protects the pucks. Well, uh, he does a really good job getting to the net front and holding on to pucks down low. Uh, he's going to have a, he's going to have a interesting time in, in the pro game though, uh, in, in terms of moving the puck a little bit quicker over here, you got a little less time, a little bit less, uh, space to, to to move around so i think that could be beneficial to him but i also think it's going to be a little bit of an acclimation period that he's asked to learn to, to use that to his benefit thanks george malik george you're muted sorry about that coach um i was wondering if if you could tell us about um the progression that simon edvinson has made over the course of the first two games um, again, I, I thought a lot of our defensemen tonight were a little bit too aggressive to get up ice and you know, they need to pick and choose their spots a little bit uh, in terms of not giving up odd man rushes, reading plays a little bit. Uh, I, I think that you can see the, the poise that he has with the puck, though, and his play recognition for the most part is uh, it, it's elite. He's, he's, he's going to be a really good player for a really long time. Uh, 
you know, it, it, he's still very young though. So, you know, that's, that's important to, to understand that, you know, some of these kids that come in here, there's all this hype and expectation that uh, sometimes it doesn't just happen overnight. So he's going to have, uh, he will make rookie mistakes. You know, we have veterans that make mistakes. So, uh, but the, he does a lot of little things well for a younger player and has a confidence that, uh, that bodes well for his future. Is that something where um, with young defensemen, you kind of have to teach them that, that sometimes the nothing play is, is the right thing to do? Well, sometimes, yeah, if there is no play, it doesn't always have to be a pretty play for sure. We, we talked about that a little bit uh, in between periods, but it's tough. You don't want to put the, the harness on them and rein them too far in because that's what's got them to this point is uh, their elite skating, their, their playmaking ability. So you don't want to take that away, but you want to try and teach and teach and teach as to when to make those plays on a more consistent basis. How do you feel that your goaltending performed tonight? It looked like Andrew was was actually pretty good, uh, but Dallas was uh, they got some breaks to put it put it bluntly. Yeah, well, you know, I thought uh, I thought Bender played extremely well. That first period, they outshot us significantly, uh, and then Oaks comes in, and you know, it's it's tough to come in as a as the second guy halfway through the game at the ten minute mark. I think last night he he came in and his first shot he saw was a three on one against, and then tonight comes in, there's a D zone face off. So it's tough. Now, those are tough situations, but I thought he played solid. It's tough to, it's tough to gauge the, the, the goalies play for me because I think we didn't do a great job of limiting really quality chances tonight. So all in all, I do think the goalies were, were pretty solid tonight. And last one for me, um, I was wondering if you could uh, tell us uh, the, the rationale between the, well, behind going to have practice tomorrow, maybe even a full practice uh, of rest versus rust. Well, it, 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 that's a very valid question, but uh, you know, at the very least, uh, the, we're, we're going to come in and we'll come to the rink. If the guys are banged up, we'll assess when we get here. Um, but it's important to, you know, the, the, can't just sit around your bed and lay around and got to get a little exercise at the end of the day, this is what they're paid to do. So <laughs> this is the, this is our job and it's a fun job. So you know, we'll come in and we'll decide how long we're going to practice. If we're going to practice, decide, should we work on specific things after we look at tonight and, or maybe just come in and have a cup of coffee and go home. We'll, we'll decide you, that sir. tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Sure. Last question, Jonathan Mills. Yeah, coach. Uh, Second straight game where you guys come out and score and open the scoring, um, even though the end result, not what you probably would have liked for, how important is that in setting the tone for the rest of the game? Well, I think it's a heck of a lot easier to play with the lead than to have to chase the game. So, you know, when, when you do score first, you know, just from the back out, you know, the goalie feels a little bit confident. He's got a little cushion. The defense are a little bit more prone to play a little bit looser and the forwards are a little bit more excited to, to play offense. So I do think just, you know, it's a lot easier to protect the lead than the chase a game. Appreciate it. Sure. All right. Those are all the questions we had. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. See you guys. Thanks.